okay this is uh, the continuous lesson previously in my previous uh, live show i already explained six questions on this equation of tangent and normal to curve and i hope this question the next question which is in the pdf uh, form if you do want the pdf you can check out the description box and also the description box of the online class okay so i'm going to continue with this question seven which they say the curve of the equation 3x squared minus uh, y squared plus x squared equals to 4 at point p and q uh, lie on the curve okay that is the keyword lies on the curve okay the gradient to the tangent to the curve uh, is 8 over 3 so this question the gradient already given and it is mentioned is the gradient is uh, at the equation p and q so they mention inside the question use the implicit differentiation uh, show that the y minus 2x equals to 0 is on p and q so what we are going to do is we are going to set in okay our differentiation implicitly so 3x squared will be stated there so you get 6x minus 2y so differentiate from here uh y squared differentiate you get 2y because we are doing this implicitly when we differentiate a y we have our dy dx and then here we have the product rule so copy uh, x differentiate y copy y differentiate x that's the product rule which you learned already and we already need to rearrange this whole thing so what i did is i bring this 2y over the right hand side and i bring this one uh, it become minus x dy dx and i arrange the dy dx together okay you can check out the implicit video that i have uh, inside the, my channel okay so what we have here next what we have here next is your dy over dx is as sh shown and then we will get the equation of gradient and we will put it inside and then this will be the gradient where we adjust this part here okay from here so that is given uh that gave us the gradient of the equation okay once we have that so this gradient we will put it over three over here because it's mentioned inside the question and we will arrange this so that we can get uh to what we want which is y minus 2x equals to zero so we are going to re rearrange this part over here okay just a moment and here there we are so what i'm going to do is i'm going to rearrange this equation i'm going to rearrange this and this is going to be very simple multiply it in and get it set as so okay so i have y minus 2x so that is what is needed inside the question so i say shown and inside the question they ask find the coordinate of pq so i know that my y is equals to 2x actually so you have y equals to 2x and i'm going to use it to create my coordinate of p and q so how do i do that so i'm going to put this y equals to 2x into the question and that will give you the value of x so i will rearrange and factorize and then set in and minus and do whatever i need to do to get my x okay after i have received my x then what i'm going to do is i'm going to dump it into my 2x uh, y equals to 2x to calculate my y and i'm going to answer this question where they ask for the coordinates of p and q so that will give me my coordinates of p and q as 2 and 4 and negative 2 and negative 4 that is when i fill in this y equals to 2x yay i'm done right so once i got that ready then let's check out the question number eight where i have inside my pdf uh paper so what we have here is i gave you the story you had you can read it so that is the long long story but what we need is the two equations so i have the two equation which is x and y so once 
what I need, you know already, I need a gradient and I need a coordinate and I need the equation of tangent. So that is what is asked inside the question. Okay, so what is needed is the two equation. I'm going to use my chain rule to solve these two equation, of course. So uh, I have this parameter d prime t and I will differentiate it and I got my d prime t for y and I will get my equation for that. Okay, so next thing I'm going to dump it into the chain rule. So dy over dx is the uh, y prime t over x prime t and I will get my dy dx. Okay, so this dy dx needs a value because I need a, uh, the, the gradient in the form of coordinates. Oh, I cannot see my gradient, right? So I just shift myself over here. Okay, so I have my dy over dx and I need the coordinates. So what I need to do now is I need to find that details that I need. Okay, so where do I get the details? Is it here? Is this the coordinates that I need? Yes? No? Hmm, well... Remember, in my tuition class previously, I already mentioned whatever you do, the coordinates have to be, the coordinates that you need have to be, have to be on the curve. So we read on to the question, find the equation of line tangent of the ball position at, position at 4 seconds after it has released. That will be the, the ball on the curve itself. So we have there. 4 seconds and the 4 seconds is the t, alright? The 4 seconds is the t, then we will use the t to create what we need. Okay, so that is what we have there. So I'm going to put in the t equals to 4, that is put it into the x and put it into the equation of y, the equation of x, and equation of y to create the coordinates. So that is where our coordinates come from. Then again, while we still need our y, so we need the value of t inside the coordinates too. So when t equals to 4, I put it in and I will get my dy dx. Okay, so that will complete up the question. Okay, so now my question is, I still need the equation. So I have the, the coordinates and I have my dy dx. So I'm going to put it all in and I'm going to check in the answer and the equation of the line tangent that I need to create here is this one. Okay, so I hope this uh, answered all, all the eight questions that I have inside my PDF and you can check out the finishing of the question, okay, you can check out the part of the question uh, for the other six questions inside the PDF in the free online class. Okay, that's all from me today. That's all. Bye. And if you like what I have, please hit the like button and please subscribe. Bye. Ta-ta.